What's going on with my commanders family today, man? Um, I'm about a day late on this video, so it's not going to be too long, but it's going to be the um, review of the Panthers and Commanders game. Uh, but before I get into that, man, make sure you all continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And like I always say, man, make sure we continue to support the commander content creators out there, man, so we can continue to grow this fantastic um, and, uh, fan base. So, again, man, we're just going to go ahead and get in straight into it. It's not going to be too long. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a day behind with this video. I have another video dropping right after this one, um, and that's going to be uh, reviewing the Panther, I mean the uh, Bears, um, and... I have a breaking news injury update, so definitely make sure y'all um, watch the next video. Anyway, as we all know, we won the game 40 to seven. We move on to five and two. We are still sitting atop the NFC East. Um, we are second in the entire conference, uh, right behind the Detroit Lions who have one loss and who just took down the Minnesota Vikings. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at some numbers. Uh, as we all know, J.D. went out first drive. Uh, he got injured on a long run. Instead of staying, sticking to the sideline, he ran inbounds. He ran basically in the middle to try to outrun the defender. He realized that this is the NFL. The defender caught up to him. He had a very awkward um, fall where he just abruptly kind of just gave up. And the way he collapsed came down. He had a, a rib injury, and that's where we're at with that. Um, but let's go ahead and look at some of the stats. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, here we go, box score. All right. So this is not a misprint. This is <laughs> this is very accurate. This is what it is. What it was. The defense played another game for some reason when it, when they when they play sorry teams. We just put belts of ass when it comes to these sorry teams. And I was telling the guy, he said, oh, this is a trap. This is a trap. If you do not know football, please shut the hell up. If you do not know football, please shut the hell up. That's all I ask. Please. I'm tired of these non-athletic couch quarterbacks Monday morning quarterbacking the team and NFL players when they have never, first of all, played football or any sport. They're out of shape. They were never in shape. And they were never good at any sport. You're non-athletic, but you want to talk about football. You have no knowledge, no experience playing football. Please, again, shut the hell up. Thank you. I'm sick and tired of arguing with you, freaking you. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, yeah, so the defense played well. They held Andy Dalton to 93. Oh, that's what I was getting to before I get into that. Yeah, so this guy saying, oh, this is um, a trap game. It's a trap game. Like, the Panthers suck. There is no trap in this game. Oh, you don't understand what a trap game is. Once again, the Panthers suck. There is no trap game. And no, we did not beat the Ravens, so we're not coming off a of victory. Where, where is the trap? Again, shut the hell up, please. You guys just want to make conversation. You think this is the old Redskins, the old regime? This is this is not it, okay? We started over from top, and we're working our way down to the bottom. That's the correct way to do things, and we're seeing it pay off. Now I'm going to get back into the stats. Andy Dalton had 93 yards. And my prediction for this game was 41 to 20. We scored 40, but the Panthers did not score over well, more than one touchdown. They scored a garbage touchdown with uh, Chuba Hubbard at the end of the game. I did predict that we were going to get two interceptions. Emmanuel Forbes had an interception. Congratulations. Way to show up. Uh, who else had Dante Fowler set the tone, had a pick six, and he looked like a running back. I wouldn't be surprised if we featured him as a running back, man. I, I don't know, man, but that he looked he looked real fluid and real elusive when he caught that uh, interception. But again, 
Um, 11 for 16, 93 passing yards. Two interceptions. We had two sacks on the day. Um, Bryce Young came in. You see what he did. They need to put Bryce Young back in the game because Andy Dalton is trash. And, you know, he got into a, a, a car accident, I believe minor car accident. So Bryce Young will be starting again. You got you to gotta put him in there. Uh, so, yeah, we know Jaden, he got injured. He only had two passing attempts. He had six yards. Um, <clears throat> Marcus Mariota came in and looked possessed. This, again, I did not watch the game. So when I watched those, when I, when I reacted to the highlights, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. He was throwing dots on the run. He was uh, out, getting out of the pocket. At, like, I did not expect this from him. I'm not going to lie. When he came in the, what, what game was that? Damn, why do I keep forgetting what game that was? That was um, Brown. Oh, I think the Browns game. Well, he, either the Browns or called one of them blowout games. He came in and he looked he looked rusty. He looked like a guy that was coming back from the IR. Um, but I will say this: it's the Panther. But this is his, that was this is his preseason game. But he looked, man. I know there's gonna come a point where Cliff Kingsbury is probably not no, no longer gonna be here because what he's doing with this with this offense, man, is spectacular. You have guys like Aaron Rodgers who are struggling. You have teams that are struggling on offense. We got to try everything possible to keep Cliff around because, man, the, the plays, the scheme that he's coming up with, man, they're just, just crazy. But, yeah, Marcus came in, man. He looked incredible. 18 for 23, 205 yards, two touchdowns. He was sacked one time. We finished with 207 passing yards on the day as a team. Going down to rushing. Chuba Hubbard came in with 90 yards, I think, in the last five games. We held him to 52 yards. And this is what I keep telling people. When we get up on teams, they have to abandon the run. If they would have kept running too, but I'm pretty sure he would have had, eventually he would have had an explosive run. But you see Miles Sanders, he's the one that was, he was the one that was more explosive. He had three carries for 34 yards. So he's averaging over 11 yards a carry. Schubert did have a touchdown. Miles Sanders had a long of 26. That was that first play of the game. For some reason, our first drive on defense, we have to get that fixed. Um, yeah, we've been looking, we've been looking horrible in the first drives of the defense. Brian Robinson, B Rob, we got him back. He looks like we, what we call him, we call him Thanos. He looked like Thanos, 71 yards. The guy just knows how to find the end zone, man. When we played the Ravens, I was like, yeah, we not, we shouldn't miss him that much. You know, we got McNichols, we got, but when, when we get in that 10, 15 ish yard line. He's going to do whatever he he has to to get in that end zone. He had a, a long of 11. Uh, J.D., he had a 46-yard run that he got injured on, but he had three carries, 50 yards. So we kind of set the tone early. Dante Fowler, pick six. J.D. came right out, 46-yard um, game. This is where he got injured on that awkward fall. Mick Nichols had 42 yards, a long of 10. Mariota had 34 yards. He had a hell of a lot. He had a, a second most carries on the team. Don't like to see that. Austin Eckler surprisingly only had 17 uh, yards. We again we finished with over 200 yards. Anytime we finish over 200 yards, we are going to win the game. If we face a team that cannot stop the run, we are going to win the game. It's that simple. Um, I'm not really gonna go over the Panthers receiving. It's not worth going over. They didn't do anything. Uh, again, def our defense played spectacular, but Terry McLaurin, man, him and Mar Mariota had a connection. I mean, he was just, I was, again, I, I didn't watch the game, so I was looking at the ESPN, ESPN that just checking up on the game. Every time I would look, oh, Terry McClellan, 15 yards. Terry McClellan, 18. But then when I watched the highlights, I was like, oh, okay, again. Mariota was getting out of the pocket. He was throwing dimes, man. They were doing, you know, they were playing backyard football for the most part, man. Zach Ertz, man, he had another strong game. Uh, he had four catches for 40 yards. He had a touchdown. That was the first touchdown of... Uh, that uh, Mariota threw. He threw it to Zach Ertz. He threw it on a rope. Um, Alameda being reliable like he's been. Deambi had one catch for 23. Noah had a one for 16. And my boy, Ben Sennett, finally, 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 finally got involved on a play action, um, goal-to-go situation. He slips out the right side and touchdown. First catch ever in his NFL career was a touchdown. I'm glad to see him finally get involved. Hopefully that means that uh, 
we get to see him more. DQ did joke and say um, <clears throat> that we need to stop. Uh, he needs to get more targets just because every time he passes the ball, he gets a touchdown. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, Ackler, surprised. Ackler had a, uh, it's probably his less productive, uh, less, uh, least productive game so far. He had two catches for three yards. He had four rushes for 17. That's not Austin Eckler like, but, um, yeah, we did good as far as the turnover battle. Uh, we, of course we had uh, the two interceptions and I think, yeah, I think that, yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's look at our defense, man, because they played a hell, man. We were led by tackles, as you can see. Mikey and Igbenogany. Noah Igbenogany. They both had six total tackles. So the secondary is making plays, man. You see Mikey had a TFL. <sighs> yeah, Mikey looked good, man. Mikey looked good. Frankie Louvre was all over the place. You know he wanted revenge. Um, who else, man? Man, um, Fowler was playing possessed, man. Fowler had a TFL. He was hitting running backs in the backfield, making sacks. Lubu had a sack. Who else had a sack? Um, we had one more sack. I thought three sacks. Hold on, we guess we only had two. Oh, you only had two sacks then. But yeah, man, we looked. Besides that first drive, we looked good on better on defense. Um, this is the last, like, sorry, real sorry team that we're going to play. So, from here on out, our schedule is time to, like, we already built the identity. It's time to step our game up a little bit. Um, yeah, man. So, that's pretty bad, man. And the cyber, man, he's doing what he's doing. Uh, yeah, again, uh, E Man had that pick. He ran it back for 19 yards. Fowler had the pick six. Uh, what else we got? That's pretty much it. Yeah, so we're again we're sitting at the top of the NFC East, literally by one win. Uh, Philly is going to be on our ass. So again, which we need to continue to, you know, put our foot on the pedal, not look back, and just continue to play our type of game. Um, but this that, again, now, this, this video is not going to be too long. This is all I have really for this game. You know, we won forty to seven. Uh, we played. This is arguably the worst team in the NFL. We did what we were supposed to do. Uh, my next video will be previewing the uh, Chicago Bears, and then I have a breaking news injury update on JD. So make sure y'all tune into that. Again, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next one.